and welcome guys in the previous video you learned how to create a vase so in this video we are going to go one step further and create a cup so let's get started so first let's go ahead and import our reference image so let's go into front view by holding spacebar and right click and clicking on front and importing our image reference I'll adjust it to the center of the grid, roughly to the center of the grid. And now let's just go ahead and create a cylinder by holding shift, right click and cylinder, move it up. And I'll change the subdivision axis to 40. And now I'll just adjust it by scaling it scale select these vertices and scale again and now what I'll do is I'll insert some edges by multi cut or you can also press ctrl shift plus x right now edge flow is turned on so I'll just turn it off Select these edges by double clicking on one of them. Scale. Control Shift X for multi cuts. Select here. Double click on this edge. Scale. And here. And scale again. Now, this time I'll use Edit Edge Flow. So now we have a rough shape of our cup. What I'll do is I, I'll go ahead and add one more edge here and another one over here. The reason I'm doing that is because in the future we have to model this as well. So it's good to model cut. So it's good to prepare ahead of time. So that's why I created those edges. So now what I'll do is adjust the scale of this edge so that it is not exactly linear. Now I'll go to multi cut and turn on edge flow and insert edges here. And when I try to insert an edge here with an edge flow it doesn't behave the way I want it to so what I'll do is to fix this I'll just create an edge extremely close to this object or uh, this edge and now when I try to create an edge with edge flow it doesn't give a weird result or you can also bevel this edge alternatively that could also fix your problem so i'll bevel this somewhere around here and now i don't want to interfere with this part of the cup because my handle will come out from this so i need these two edges in these places so I'll control and shift and just move them slightly. So I'll just assign a different material to this one so that I don't change these. Assign a Lambert. Now delete history by holding Alt Shift and D. If you don't delete your history, your Maya might crash and you may lose all of your data. So let's give it some color so now I know that I don't have to interfere with these edges so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and add an edge in here here and here and maybe here so again we have the same problem that we had before 
so to fix that just add an edge closer to this surface and now you can add an edge with the edge flow so now what just go ahead and space out the edges by using edit edge flow press G to repeat edit edge flow again I can change this but do not change this changing this maybe we can change them slightly but I don't want them to go like like this because then we won't be able to extrude out and then make this part of the handle them slightly down I'll try to keep the topology even and now I can add one more edge here so that the topology is adjusted properly and we have even Topology. Okay, it looks good. So now I can go ahead and delete this edge because it has served the purpose and now we can delete it. So now go into perspective by holding space bar, right click and perspective. Move our reference image to the back. Select this. Go into vertex mode, select this vertex, press Ctrl plus F11 and delete. So now I no longer need this color variation because now I already know that I have adjusted the topology and also adjusted the edges according to the shape which I am going to extrude. So right click, assign existing material and Lambert 1. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and extrude this by pressing Ctrl plus E. Increase the thickness by holding Ctrl and Shift and click on this and drag. And this much would be the thickness of a cup I believe. Maybe slightly more minus 0 0.25 and now we can flip the normals by hold by going into mesh display and reverse and now we have the base of our cup now go let's go ahead and model the base of the cup click this vertex press ctrl plus f11 to select all the pieces corresponding to that vertex Press Ctrl plus E, press R to scale, scale up till here, press Ctrl E again, press W to move, scale, and then now we can select these edges and bevel them. Now we need to select this vertex and faces again by pressing Ctrl plus F11 and extrude and give it one more edge so now we have the base of our cup let's go ahead and model the upper part of the cup go into edge mode again double click that edge press ctrl plus p and give it a small bevel amount the outer part of the cup is usually sharp and the inner is a lot more smoother so i will I won't give the outer part too much bevel, so it's 0 0.2. Now select the inner part, press Ctrl plus P, and now this time I'll leave it like this, and then select this edge and move it down a little bit. Select this and slightly scale it outwards, and now insert an edge loop with edge flow, and now we have the inner part that we wanted so now press 3 on your keyboard for smooth preview and see how it looks so now what happened when we extruded it created an intersection between the edges 
so to show you just press 4 on your keyboard to turn on wireframe and before that let's just go ahead and select this faces again and press 4 on your keyboard and now you may see that these edges have been intersected so that's why you can't see an edge here so to fix that just select our object and press 3 on the keyboard and now you can select the edge that was hidden due to intersection so now what you can do is just scale it or I think we selected the wrong one just select this one and try to scale and now you can see the other edge as well so now select this and scale and now we have fixed the problem that we had here we also need one more bevel here so I'll delete this edge and just press ctrl B and I'll create it slightly more rounder and give it three segments maybe I can scale this one inwards and now it looks much nicer so now it's time to create our handle so how can we create our handle is we can go into our front view press spacebar right click and front view and now what we need to do is just select these faces and these faces so now you can understand why I added these edges over here and then adjusted all the edges according to those two because now it's a lot more easier to create these faces and I don't have to change the whole topology for this. So it's always good to prepare your model for any further adjustment. So you have to think ahead of time. So now I have selected these faces. What I'll do is I'll just press Ctrl plus E and then make sure I'm not in the subdivision preview mode so I'll press 1 and then I'll change the offset just till here I don't want to change the topology of the part over here so I'll leave it like that so what I'll do is I'll delete these faces go into edge mode select these edges select this one hold shift right click on your keyboard and click bridge so now what happened it it just connected these edges with these edges but we don't want a linear bridge because we want the cup to go like this so what we can do is we can change the curve type to blend and if I increase the subdivision you can see on the inner side it did created a curve that we wanted but the problem is that it is on the inner side of the cup we need to flip the side we need to flip this by changing these settings the source and the target so let's go ahead and change the change it to positive and now we have it on the outer side of the cup so now we can go back to our front view and increase the divisions I think I'll just leave it to 3 because if I added too many divisions then it will be very difficult to adjust so I will adjust these first and then later on as I progress I'll add more divisions so I'll go ahead and go into object mode and then go into vertex mode and then adjust these according to the handle of the cup select these vertices click them here turn on extreme mode so that you can see through and adjust it according to our reference scale
so now I can add more edges here and now I can again adjust it So I won't add any more edges than this because if I add more edges then later on it will be difficult to handle. So once I have a correct shape then I can add more edges then it will be much more better in that way instead of adding too many edges and then trying to adjust all of this again. So I'll just leave it to this and let's see how it looks in the perspective mode turn off x-ray I think it looks pretty good let's turn on a uh, shiny materials to this so go into assign new material assign a form go into object mode and it looks really shiny so now let's go back to our front view and turn on x-ray mode and continue with adding more edges so this time i'll i won't be adding with edge flow because if i add it with edge flow it again messes the shape so i'll just stick to adding it without the edge flow now you may notice that we have a curve here and to get that curve what we can do is select these edges and push them forward a little bit by holding ctrl and shift and move it forward and that's how we get the curve select these edges and move them here again select these edges control shift and move and go into vertex mode select these and try to move them up here a little bit now we have the curve And add one more edge here press 6 to turn on shading mode and now it looks nice so now what we can do is 
we can adjust the shape a little bit more right now it is too boxy so what we can do is we can make it we can have this nice sharp edge that you can see here so to get that just select this edge and shift select this edge so that it will select this whole selection and then select this again and shift select this and it selected that so now what you can do is you can hold scale and then control shift right click and scale it till it is closer to this edge and press 3 and now you can see this night sharp outline here we can also increase the roundness of this shape by just selecting this edge and double shift double click on this edge and then shift right click and transform component so transform component will scale all the edges or move all the edges perpendicular to itself so now we have a subtle curve here and we can also try to make this not so boxy select these two edges press w Control shift and then move it up slightly scale it and it looks much more rounder we can add one more bevel if we want move this here move this up slightly move this down Se select these edges add a bevel and it looks nice we can also scale this these vertices as well and also do something similar over here select these two edges scale them move them down by holding control and shift so that it doesn't look so boxy in nature select these two edges move them up scale them by holding control and shift move them up we can also move these down a little bit and now it's looking much more nicer i think we can do is select this edge try edit edge flow and now it looks much more nicer I think I will scale this slightly because I think this will look much better. Yes. So now we have our cup ready. One more thing we can do to make it much nicer is to add coffee inside it. So select this go into face mode select this face shift select this face shift right click and duplicate face go into object mode deselect the cup and now go into edge mode select this whole edge loop by double clicking on it press ctrl e scale press g to repeat again scale G to repeat again, scale, G, scale, and so on. And finally, what I will do is hold shift, right click, and merge, and merge edges to center. So now we need to flip the normals, go into mesh display, and reverse. Go now, delete history, 
make sure you delete history whenever you work on any object that is very very important if you do not delete your history you might end up with a corrupted maya scene so now go into edge mode double click this edge add a small amount of bevel because coffee has some kind of a bulge it doesn't sticks completely flat select this edge move it up slightly now select this edge you can add a bevel here something like this and when you press 3 on your keyboard it looks really nice so our coffee is I'm sorry so our coffee cup is done let's see how our topology looks like one more thing it's not done we need to add a few more edges here I got carried away a little bit because of coffee I guess now go into edge mode and then just make sure that these are even not equal but even gradually we don't want them to be equal in size we want them to have a gradual transition like we have here I'm using added edge flow and pressing G to repeat. So what it is doing is making the transition gradual. So using edge flow is very helpful, but if you did it where you don't know, then it might end up ruining your object a little bit so you should so, so it is really helpful to know how to use edit edge flow properly it is just like a double edged sword hmm. okay and now let's adjust this control shift move it up Control and shift let's adjust these as well Control shift so that it has a nice curve and it is not like tuck 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 we don't want that we want gradual changes in our topology let's see how it looks now nice our topology looks really really good let's see if we have any dents no no dance whatsoever that's why we applied a shiny material on this one looking from all angles we don't see any dents if we see any of these we can fix these just a little bit don't have to do it too much No, we don't see any dents. I'm sorry, dent. Why did I say that? We don't see any major dents. Okay, so our coffee cup is complete. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.